Hello and welcome to the next coding tutorial. In this one, I want to show you how to set up a free domain with free hosting and free TLS certificate. And for that, we will use GitHub pages. So let's get started. If you don't have any domain and don't have hosting, you can use GitHub pages service to launch your website. For that, you need to have GitHub account. And let's start with that. You need to navigate to github.com and click here sign up. I have already account. If you don't, please create your personal account, fill in username, email, password fields here, verify account. On the next step, please choose free account. There is such option and with free account, you will be able to create multiple repositories, but with some limitations. So let's suppose that the GitHub account was successfully created. Now let's click sign in and I'll sign in with my username and password. So I'll click sign in. After signing in here on the left side, you'll see list of all your repositories. If you have just created your GitHub account, this list will be empty in your case. I have already some repositories there. In order to create a new repository, you can click this new button. But before doing that, uh, let me show you guide uh, that uh, demonstrates you how to create your GitHub page. You need to navigate to pages.github.com and uh, here you'll see pretty straightforward uh, instructions on how to do that yourself. So first step is uh, creation of a repository. And uh, you need to create a repository with a specific name that consists of your GitHub username and github.io. So let's create this repository. Repository is actually a set of files and uh, GitHub is a service for hosting your repositories. So let's get back to GitHub and click here on new. And uh, here I'll create new repository and its name will be, in my case, bstashuk dot github dot io. You should use uh, here on this place your username that you have used uh, for registration at github.com. So repository name was filled in and now let me add description. My github page like that. Repository should be public and uh, after that we are good to go and uh, we can create this repository. Okay. Repository was created and uh, now we need to add uh, files to this repository. If you want to host a website, uh, at least you need uh, index.html file. And uh, in our case, we will create just a simple website uh, with one web page. Of course, if you want to create a website with multiple pages, you need to add uh, multiple files and uh, upload all of them to your repository. How you can manage your repository? You need to clone it first to your computer, then make any changes and after that push those changes to remote repository. That's how Git and GitHub work. You can uh, perform this task of cloning your repository using either command line or GitHub desktop. If you are new to GitHub, I recommend you to use uh, GitHub Desktop. It is pretty straightforward application. It is very easy to use. And in one application, you can uh, manage all your repositories. You can uh, add commits. You can push uh, changes to remote repository and so on. So if you have not installed GitHub Desktop before, you can navigate to desktop.github.com and download GitHub Desktop. It is available for Mac OS and for Windows. So let me download it for Mac OS. Okay, GitHub desktop was downloaded. Let me open it up, unarchive it, and after that, drag .app file to applications. And uh, now I am able to open it. And actually, I can do that directly from the page with my repository and I can click on the button set up in desktop and click here open github desktop. Opening. 
Verifying uh, open. And here we are. Welcome to GitHub desktop. Now we need to sign in using our username and password that uh, we have created uh, by registering at github.com. And you need to sign in to github.com. Now you need to enter username and password, but there is more convenient option. You can sign in using your browser. So let's click on this link. Open GitHub desktop here. And after successful signing in, you will be presented with this page. Configuration of Git. And this step is important. You need to enter your name and email that will be used as additional information in each commit. Information about committer. And uh, please verify this information and if you are happy with that, click continue. And finally click finish. And here we are. We have successfully logged in uh, into GitHub desktop using our GitHub account. And here you should see list of all your repositories. If you have created new GitHub account, you will see only one repository. So let me click on this last repository. In my case, it is bistashuk.github.io. And now I need to clone this repository to my local computer. And after that, I'll make changes in this repository and push changes to remote repository. Okay, let's click on this button, clone repository. And uh, let me clone this repository to this default path. To documents folder and there will be github folder and uh, there will be subfolder with the name of my repository. You can choose other path if you want. Okay, let's click clone. So cloning. And here we are, repository was successfully cloned. And now it is located on my local computer. And I can click this button show in finder and folder with uh, my repository files will be opened here. But uh, we will use the code editor in order to create index.html file. You can use any code editor you like, but I suggest you to use Visual Studio Code. It is a free code editor, it is available for Mac OS and Windows. It, and it is really convenient uh, to use. It has a lot of features, a lot of different extensions. So if you don't use it now, I strongly suggest you to download, install it and at least uh, give it a try. In order to install VS Code, you can navigate to its page. So type VS Code. Here will be first link and uh, here you can download uh, VS Code either for Mac or for Windows. Okay. When you will install VS Code, please open GitHub Desktop again. And here you'll see button Open Repository in Visual Studio Code. Let me click on this button. And your project will be open there. Here you will see name of your repository and currently it is empty. We need to create at least one file here with the name index.html. So let's click here on this icon, create new file and type name of the file, index.html. Please note that the name of the file should be exactly like that, index.html. Press enter and here file will be opened and we need to add something in HTML language. And now I can simply type exclamation mark and press tab. And that will create basic structure of HTML document. And uh, all what I will do now, I'll add h1 tag into the body section. Let me type h1 and press tab. And here let me type uh, that is my personal website like that. Let's save the file. You can use key combination command S on Mac or control S on Windows. And after that, let's get back to GitHub desktop. And here you'll see changes. One changed file, index.html. And here in this pane, you'll see which lines of code were added to that file. Now we need to commit those changes and after that, push them to remote repository. So let me add here description of this commit, uh, my first file index.html like that. And let's click button commit to master. 
After committing, we need to publish this branch first and uh, with publishing, we will push changes to remote repository. Recap that we allocated in default uh, master branch. So let's publish branch, pushing to origin, hang on, and that's all. We have successfully made changes and pushed them to remote repository. And now there are no local changes. Okay, now we can test our work and uh, we can try to open our website. Recap that uh, we should use uh, this name of repository in my case, uh, bistashuk.github.io as a URL. Let me copy name of my repository, this one, and open new tab and paste this copied URL here. Let's press enter, and here we are. That is my personal website. And that means that uh, we have quickly and easy created uh, our personal website with free domain, with free hosting, and with free TLS certificate. You may see here that we have connected to our website using HTTPS protocol, there is lock icon, connection is secure, and there is valid certificate. If I'll click on this certificate, you'll see information about it. Here is common name, 3 github.com, but uh, this certificate is actually multi-domain certificate and that's why we are able to use it uh, on our website. It is a actually subdomain of github.io. And if you'll scroll down to extension section here in certificate, you'll see list of DNS names that shows us where the certificate may be used. And here you'll see record star.github.io. And that means that the certificate may be used on any subdomain of github.io. Okay, that's all. We have successfully launched our website and uh, all of that was completely free. But of course, there are some limitations of using GitHub pages. First, uh, you have domain, but it is a subdomain of other domain. And uh, if you want uh, to create any production service, production website, that is not a good approach actually. And uh, in that case, you should buy your own uh, paid domain. Next drawback of using GitHub pages is that uh, there you can host only static websites. And if you want to host any dynamic website built, for example, using React, Vue or Angular, you will be able to use GitHub pages for that. Another drawback is that using this URL that contains uh, your username, you are able to host only one website. Actually, you could host multiple websites using uh, GitHub pages, but uh, there will be only one website that is located in repository with such name that will be accessed by this URL. Other repositories may be accessed in such format. Same URL, then a slash, and then name of other repository. Like that. But uh, please note that uh, every repository that uh, you want to be accessed in such format need to have uh, at least index.html file. Okay, let's now try to make some changes to this repository and for that let's get back to VS Code and uh, let's add another HTML tag, h3 for example, and let me type my name here. And on the next line, let me add the link to my personal website, https stashuk.com. Here you may find list of all courses that I teach. And here will be my website, like that. Let's save, go back to GitHub desktop. Here you'll see changes. And let's commit those changes. Let's add description to this commit, adding URL commit to master, push origin, pushing to origin. And here we are. Let's go back to web browser and reload page. Let's click reload page again. Sometimes it takes up to 10-15 seconds to implement changes that you have just made. And finally, we see those changes. So my name and link to my website.
If you want, you can go there and find my courses that I teach uh, on Udemy. Okay, let's go back to github.com and refresh page here. And now you'll see that there are two commits that were made uh, in this repository. Here is a description for each commit, adding URL, my first file index.html. You can click on every commit and explore it. So here is initial commit with initial changes. And here is second commit with next changes. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, in such a way, you can pretty fast and easy uh, get uh, your website up and running. But again, there are some drawbacks. First uh, main drawback is that there will be subdomain of github.io. And the second drawback is that you are able to host only static websites in such a way. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Also, please ask any questions in the comment section below. And if you like such type of content, please subscribe to this channel. More tutorials are coming up. See you in the next videos and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.